What is good? How you doing, big dog? You gotta eat? I do have to eat. The little little dogs gotta eat too, though. Yeah, I mean, all dogs gotta eat, just like all dogs go to heaven. You have a big dog, doesn't need to eat a lot. No, eats in a high chair, Mega actually. esophagus, so Mega esophagus. To... People just think I'm bougie sometimes. They're like, oh, that your dog eats in a high chair? That's so cute. It's not like it's a fancy-ass high chair, but yeah. I guess when they hear that, yeah. my dog has Or a... see it. They're like, oh, what's that? They're like, oh, they, yeah, my dog eats in that. Like, she eats in the high chair. She has to. Yeah. The and food then needs like, to process. like, oh, oh, that's cool. And I'm like, no, no, it's like a medical oh, it condition. fucking sucks. Yeah. It's, yeah, it really She is. almost died. Luckily. Yeah. Getting old. It's got to sit in there for like 15 or 20 minutes afterwards. It's just really an ordeal. Only 14 licks of the vet, water. Vet told us to pull the plug. Did they? Yeah. They and y'all said, were like, nah, we'll do this. Said we'll most the- people just wouldn't put in the time to um, wow. uh, want to stick with this. And the, the 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 water thing, like it's she's fine. She can mo- she can drink a decent amount of water. And 15 licks, man. You always go over, but I. Yeah, no. I go way over. Like at this point, most of the time during the day, if I'm there, like I'll just give her water that she can get to, and then. Yeah. Yeah. She's living that good water life. Eh, if I'm there, right? When I'm not home. I'll... Can't let her go willy nilly. No. Shout out to Scarlet. Yeah. It's not National Dog Day, but it will be some point. So yeah, dog big dog esophagus. She needs to eat, but not a ton. Yeah. <laughs> In a high chair. Anyhow. What are we what's doing? What's good? Let's get into some Christian McCaffrey. Now, probably not a whole lot to be really said here, and I don't have like a whole lot of Bye. straight facts CMC. necessarily. Well, and no, just, no straight facts? You're going to keep it I said, real, though. I said not a lot. I but said you, not a lot of straight facts. You'll keep it real. I'm going to certainly keep this as real. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Will you tell a lie? Um, no. Okay. I'm not going to do that. Could you, if you even wanted to? I can't ever lie. Got it. I could lie. I'm... I could lie. <laughs> so it just seems to <laughs> but me, but not to you guys, that there might be a slight uh, ajarment of a window. People are hating. Of maybe some buy for Christian McCaffrey. He's wa- He's done. Too many. Too much work on that body. And if that exactly, and if that's the case, then I'm gonna go ahead and just go see what the league that I'm in, the owner of Christian McCaffrey. If it doesn't happen to be me, what? kind of a deal we might be able to get done some owners might just shut it down and be like now nah, i'm holding christian mccaffrey that's my dog he's won me some money in the past he's gonna win me some money again and i love him but then there might be guys in your league and everybody has the leagues and everybody has the guys who are so reactionary and now nah, they're pissed that last year he started off hot and then came back for a game and then didn't see him again. And this year started off hot and now he missed some games and now they put him on IR and now you're just, he's done. There's no way he could ever come back. And they gave him too many snaps. He's had too many from stat from Stanford to Carolina. He's, he's just, he's played out his body and there's no way that he could ever be good again. And I'm going to go ahead and in this sport of, Sport off of another sport. I'm going to go ahead and just gamble on the fact that I'm going to go and buy into the best fantasy asset that you could possibly have right now. And hey, maybe they're right. Maybe maybe there's people who want to just dismiss everybody who gets hurt for two years in a row or whatever as injury prone and they're done and they're never going to be good again. We've seen this multiple times play out in both directions. Um, but I feel like with this guy... This guy. This guy. I don't know if we can do that anymore yeah. after, after John Gruden got the axe. Um, but it's not like he had any devastating injuries. It's not like he had anything crazy happen. Like, again, if you want to be like, hey, I don't, I, I don't, I'm, I'm a little scared of Nick Chubb because of the Todd Gurley deal that happened. A lot of usage for him, had a devastating knee injury. You know, they, they have kind of keep Chubb a little down on the usage, but it's it ramps up a little bit here or there. And he hasn't he's, he's been nicked here and there. But if you I, I get it, if you want to be hesitant on Chubb, fine. But Christian McCaffrey, it's been a high ankle and then a shoulder while re- recovering from the shoulder. He then had a, a thigh slash quad injury. Last, that, that's what happened last year. And now it's a hammy. And they basically, he came back and they shut him down for three more games. He's done. To basically say. He's toast. 
Hey, Bo, you got to shut it down for three more games. We got to get you right. Probably you worked get himself it hard, too hard coming back. Right. And the things that I'm going to go ahead and bank on with this guy is, you know, we, ju- we just did, talked a little bit of Leonard Fournette here in the last video or on the podcast. And, you know, how things dramatically changed when the mindset for him changed. Well, the mindset for Christian McCaffrey is has N- never, never changed. had to change. It's always going to be there. And when you read articles, that, you know, the coaching staff is basically saying we want to give him less, but he's basically demands more. Um, and so, you know, you got to help him help himself, which I think basically kind of what they said. This IR stint is a little bit is like, hey, now you're officially can't come back for three games. So just shut it down here for a fucking minute and relax. Um, but you're going to give me the work ethic and the again, like. Some of these guys that get in the league, they need to get here, and they're they're changing the plight of their family's history. And obviously, Christian McCaffrey's family, they're good. Th- they're straight. Like he didn't really necessarily need any of this. Mm-mm. He went to fucking Stanford. He could have done whatever he wanted. Uh, obviously, a bright, hardworking kid. And then again, you put the work ethic, mad talent, shaping that body, just absolutely. Every off season, he's putting on ten pounds of muscle. Right, which maybe he needs to drop a little bit of it, um, but. Eh. You, you got Chuba in there. Have you seen him with a shirt they, on? They, yeah. Well, <laughs> they can they can maybe use Chuba to supplement some carries, and it's, he, he looks very capable of doing that. Certainly nobody is Christian McCaffrey. You can even throw a couple balls at Chuba. You might catch him. Um, oh, he'll but, catch him. You know, you got a little nicked period here for Christian McCaffrey, and I'm just not willing to be like, hey, He's dead. He's made a glass. There's no way he could ever come back from this. Like, yeah, probably the, the two closest guys to what this guy is were LaDainian Tomlinson and, and Marshall Falk. And maybe some people are like, that's fucking slander on those guys names. But he's absolutely absurd. And those or guys, Matt Forte. those guys up Throw to their into that mix of being able to produce l- l- long. Into I just mean career. as far as the impact of the player on the field, like Danny and Tomlinson Just was the best the player on the field. Marshall Falk was like the best player on the field. Dual th- and as far as dual threadedness goes, he lines up really well with those guys. Those guys didn't miss a whole lot of time. None of them had stretches like this with McCaffrey, but I feel like He's going to come back hard in the paint. He's going to come back probably just fine. And those guys handled 300, 400, high 200 carry thresholds from the time they got into the league until – late 20s into their 30s so it's very possible and very capable and and even if they throttle back the carries a little bit he's so good in space and as a weapon that there's just i can't see a way that he doesn't get 60 to 80 receptions a year right as well as you know let's get off the 300 total carries let's get down to 200 let's get into an alvin kamara type role here a little bit more and you could just see just how much better sam donald is with a guy like christian he makes everything work he makes everything better and i just i can't donald was leaning on him early in this soft there is just no way in my mind that this guy is just going to be done and like he can't his body can't handle it like it, it it just sucks it's a rash of shitty injuries it's not like he just you know, blew every ligament in his knee out or anything along those lines. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead. Tissue things. I'm gonna go ahead and bank on if there's any change. Like he was unobtainable for so long. Mm-hmm. Last year might have made him slightly obtainable and make somebody. But now, if you've held on to him, maybe the panic button is fully engaged. And people are so fucking impatient. Reactionary. And recency people are recency reactionary bias. on everything. Well, he hasn't. What have you done for me lately? And he's terrible. And there's no way he could be back. I'll, I'll go ahead and, and test those waters and see if, you know, if two firsts can can maybe get me a Christian McCaffrey because somebody's mad at him and they just want to reset or, you know, some sort you of do two firsts all package uh, to go you know, for sure. Um, some sort of package can get me a deal for CMC done and put him on my team. He's 25, going to be 26. I mean, there could be three more years of elite level usage from this guy, elite level fantasy points from this guy. All he's done is be the best fantasy player ever until 2020, where he missed all but three weeks. And those weeks were fucking doozy. 28 points, 24 points and 37 points in 2020. And then this year, um, he's only averaging 19 PPR points per game here as far as the average out. goes. He but he went out early. in week three. But before that, he had 27.7 and 24.7. And then he exits week three, only getting six, bringing that average way down to the 19. I thought you said he didn't so, have straight facts. 
You do have some. I said facts. I didn't have a lot of them. It was uh, more based in. I think you're crazy for not thinking this guy can get back and get right. back to it and get back to being an right. elite level talent for a very long time. And we've we've heard enough things and read enough things to know that the hate is boiling and simmering out there. If not, it's everybody can get if it. Not boiling. Everybody can get it. That's all that shows me that you know they're just ready to you know the the narrative's already there for running backs to be. Hey, you can't, they're not for long. Your you, the usage is up. You, once your body breaks down, there's no way you can come back. And, 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 you know, I'm not saying that that's necessarily even wrong. I'm just saying with a guy like him, I'm willing to take uh, risk and gamble. After all, we are gambling, if, especially if you're playing for anything less than $100 try to get Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> Even if you're, if you're paying for over anything over that, I'm still trying to shark this thing out and, and go figure out how to put that guy on my team. Cause at the end of the day, I'm trying to win and win money. And he is a major key factor. If he's out on the field to winning you money. Right. All right. Well, let's uh, real quick before we wrap up a few trades of scene go down. CMC. Where did you see these? So <clears throat> you can go on to dynasty league football and they have what's called a trade, uh, trade finder and they it comes through mlf my fantasy league for all these trades right and then you can specify you can you can i i filtered by ppr um i actually did super flex just to get a, a, some more options in there and then um there's a couple other filters you can set but these are trades that have gone down they tell you oh i, I specified 12 team mm -hmm. uh, just because that's always kind of the standard that we're on so 12 team ppr super flex or not trades that have gone down recently, and then you know they give you the they give you the scoring, they give you some context, um, and you can click on the league and look at it. So it's it's these are trades that have gone down, and I and I just want to throw them out there to be like I'm gonna probably take Christian McCaffrey on all these. Uh, he was acquired for a first, Devonte Smith, and and DJ Chark and Dan Arnold, a couple throw ins. Uh, that's basically two firsts a first yep. and Devonte smith i'll take <laughs> Devonte smith might be worth he's more than a first you know so it's it's at least maybe it's at least Devonte smith <laughs> but still i'm taking cmc all day yeah uh someone gave up daryl henderson and Mo david montgomery all right to get well, now CMC. we're now we're getting somewhere but probably not going to do it because henderson we don't know what the long-term value is for henderson uh, probably if, if, if Henderson was the lead guy in LA, LA and was going to stay that way, then I could say, Hey, okay, I'm fine with that. You're getting two guys who are lead dogs who are still basically guys who are not splitting work with anybody. Monty's Monty's a lead dog and a great receiving back. And we saw some good receptions out of Henderson and we've seen Henderson basically just put up 17 points a game if he's been out there and maybe not even quite climbed all the way up that ladder that offense hasn't probably seen hasn't, the ceiling that offense probably hasn't even seen its ceiling so and henderson's you know one of the biggest beneficiaries of that offense mm. um so I could, I could start to see that but the henderson next year starts to devalue him a little bit so um take a know, cmc yeah i guess yeah yes yes all right this was a super flex trade mm -hmm. they gave up hertz goddard a first and brian edwards mm. to get cmc I'm going to assume it's probably tight end premium too. Um, that give me CMC. Like maybe you could turn Hurts into a first. We just told you that you should be, or I told you that I would definitely be selling Jalen Hurts right oh, now. I'm all in. If I could find a first in super flex. So maybe a little easier to find a, a first for Hurts. And if you're competing and trying to win and you need a quarterback, if you want to trade that first for Hurts and ride the season out, then, you know, do your thing. Uh, but that would be a whole other move you'd have to make. So two firsts and Goddard and then the throw in Brian Edwards. Let me get CMC all day for that. Right. So there's just a few examples of some players. It's hard to it's hard to come on here and I don't want to just say trade for CMC. I want to mm -hmm. give you a little more context than that, but I can't tell you what to do with your trades. You need I don't know I don't know the context. I don't know who you got. What's your running back stable look like? What's your wide receiver core look like? How's the overall makeup? Right. What are the scoring settings of the league? You know, what, who are you going after? And I can't just pull trades out of thin air. Yeah. Got to give and, you some context. So Me and Big Co have a, an FFPC team that has CMC on it. And in a week or three, May can start to consider trying to sell Christian McCaffrey well, on that You got to wait till he gets back on the field if you want to sell him. Because we just... Depth isn't super great, and we've had that team for a little while getting older and older, and we've got some injuries, and might be time to just reset that thing. Um, and Christian McCaffrey 
and Ezekiel Elliott would be a good way to do that for us. So I'm not saying that I'm against necessarily ever selling Christian McCaffrey. Again, contextually, if you're just if everything's breaking down and you see the rosters, you know, this might have been your last chance to maybe try to sneak one in there and maybe you made an offseason deal to try to bolster that thing up and it's gone all wrong. I'm not saying you shouldn't ever get out of those kind of things, but um, you definitely need to wait for him to get back on the field and have a good game, though. Then, then you can really max get max value because it's down right now. Mm. The narrative is down. I don't know why running backs take the brunt of the heat for injuries, but as soon as a fucking running back get injured, it's the end of the world. We got we got a video we're gonna make Odell, about Odell second held. year contract running backs and how wide receivers and tight ends get injured just as much as fucking running backs. I don't know if just as much, but. But but yeah. but it's a crapshoot. No right. matter what you how you cut it, and like you get a couple soft tissues, and all of a sudden they throw them to the wolves, and it's just like stop. Yeah, just well, stop. Or sell them to me. Okay. So <laughs> let me get them. Yeah. Well, let me get them. All right. Let's get the FF out of here. Appreciate y'all joining us. If you made it this long, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and comment below. Holler at your boys. If you're if you're using uh, Thrive Fantasy, go ahead and check that out. Promo code the FFD. Nice little player prop uh, tournament style, or you could just straight up bet on player props over there. It's, it's more of a high end top top guys kind of deal. So you're not searching around for dumpster diving on this guy or that guy. You're you're betting on Hendersons or the Devonta Smiths or the CMCs of the world, whether they're not gonna you know get. A two touchdowns or a touchdown and a half or you know 23 completions for josh allen or you know uh it's a lot of fun Rondell Moore over 60 rushing yards and or combined yeah receiving total yards total yards so a lot of scrimmage. fun out there we wouldn't we wouldn't pump out something that we didn't all use and enjoy so go check out thrive fantasy on any platform that you can download stuff on they match you up to a hundred dollars use the code word ffd we appreciate y'all we'll see you next time peace